a TV anthology, a recurring miniseries, a 10-hour movie released over 10 weeks. There are many labels that could apply to Fargo, a dark comedic TV drama returning to the cable network FX in October. I suppose we ought to get that down. But the show, adapted from 1996's film Fargo, stands out as a prime example of TV's newest template for drama. Stories contained in a single season of about 10 episodes, filled with characters who may or may not be seen again after the season's finale. The break from the traditional formula of 22 episodes a season gives producers a way to recruit movie stars who are often unwilling to commit to a multi-year contract, and viewers can jump aboard an anthology series that happened to catch up on previous seasons. Well, this is a deal. After winning Emmy and Golden Globe Awards last year, Fargo returns from a year and a half break with only a couple of elements intact. Exaggerated Midwest mannerisms. The word we is a castle hung with a moat and a drawbridge. And a general theme in which decent folks get tangled up with violent criminals. The setting is also different, shifting from 2006 to 1979. And the cast is all new. Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons play a married couple who stumble into a crime cover-up. Gene Smart is the matriarch of a Fargo crime family. Ted Danson is a sheriff and father-in-law to a state trooper played by Patrick Wilson. Mr. Wilson's character, Lou Solverson, is one of the few carryovers from last season. The character was played as an older man by Keith Carradine in season one. Of course, Fargo isn't the only fresh example of shows breaking free of the traditional TV template. American Horror Story, which returns to FX for its fifth season in October, was the first to update the TV anthology model pioneered by old short story programs like The Twilight Zone. ABC has promised a second season of last summer's American Crime, with a new cast and case at its center. There's something I want to show you that I think you'll like. And in October, the network will introduce Wicked City, an 11-episode crime series that, if successful, could return with a new storyline. Netflix has picked up Black Mirror, a cult hit from the UK. And Fox recently debuted the campy murder mystery Scream Queens, which promises to reveal its killer by season's end.